everyone, it's me, YD28, and welcome back to my channel with The Sims 2 Let's Play Strange Town. Today we're going to be looking into the Smith family, and the Smith family is the blended alien-human family uh, with, uh, I forgot his name, something, Pollination, um, Pollination Tech number nine, that's his name. Um, oops, that's not what I want to do. Nope. That's the button. Okay, so, <laughs> so I'll read the little blurb here. After a fruitful career, haha, <laughs> get it, because he's a pollination technician. Pollination technician number nine has retired to his favorite planet. But can his son Johnny make friends and fit in, or is this family just too strange for Strange Town? So, yeah, pollination technician, uh, if your sim gets abducted by aliens, the f father or mother of your alien baby is a pollination tech and so pollination technician number nine um is now old and he fell in love with jenny smith and jenny smith is the curious's sister um pascal and vidkund and uh laszlo and then they actually had two kids so that's why johnny smith looks kind of half human he doesn't have like his dad's eyes and Jill Smith looks exactly like her mom. So I am going to skip until we load into their house and see what they're about. Alright guys, so here we are in the Smith household. And we're on Pollination Technician number 9. Uh, Smith. I guess he chose the last name Smith because it's a standard name. But look at him in his retired outfit with the high socks and the high-waisted pants and the top. And Jenny Smith is in the medical career, if we remember uh, from part one of the Beaker household. Cersei Beaker brought Jenny Smith home as a co-worker friend. So, yeah, Jenny Smith is a hardworking um, nurse or something. So this is pollination technician number nine, that alien up her. Uh, he is a family aspiration, which I guess makes sense. And he wants to marry off six children, but that's probably not going to happen. Uh, his relationship is very high with his wife, uh, and almost high with his uh, kids, so they can quickly be eradicated. He's also quite friendly with Ophelia, uh, and Chloe Singles and Lola Singles are actually his children. And General Buzz Grunt and him, oh, he's actually okay with General Buzz Grunt, but if we remember, uh, General Buzz does not like Polynesian Tech number nine. But if we look at the family tree, um, he did uh, appollinate <laughs> their um, human person, and his name was Glam. Glam Curious. So he got abducted twice. Oh my gosh. That is kind of creepy. So, pollination technicians... Um, daughters are half sisters to Jenny Smith <clears throat> and then there's Janelle oh Janelle um so that is interesting kind of creepy but interesting uh his skills he actually doesn't have that many skills I guess because he's only been on the planet for so long his personality is fairly neat and playful and kind of nice but he's quite shy and lazy his little blurb is the only thing PT9, oh my god, we're calling him that forever now, loves more than his lawn and his, is his family. When he is not spending time with his children, he enjoys clipping coupons and staring up at the sky. All remembering his life. And we'll look quickly at his memories. Let's zoom all the way back here. He met Jenny and became best friends with her, and then they kissed and got married, and he grew up well, and then they had Johnny and did nice things, and he grew up well. And then they had Jill. <clears throat> and won a fight against General Buzz. And then Johnny grew up well, and then Jill grew up well, and that's where we've left off. No memories of him um, pollinating uh, his daughters, or pollinating getting his daughters, but that is him. Uh, yes. So next we look at Jenny Smith. Let's take a look at her. She's We've already seen her before, but... She looks nothing like her, oops, looks nothing like her brothers, for sure. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, she wants to actually quit her job, 
so I might hold on to that. She's also a family aspiration, and she also wants to marry off six kids. So I don't know, maybe, actually, she grows up in five days. We might be able to get her pregnant if we do it right away. Uh, she has the same relationship status with her children as PT9, and she's friends with Thirsty Beaker. I think that was from us uh, socializing with her when she went over to the Beaker household. She's also close friends with Ophelia, and she's close friends with her brothers, and we were talking to Nervous Subject. And if we look here, we see that um, these are all her brothers, her father's glam curious, and I guess that means... Um, her, I guess that means that she grew up with the, uh, Lola and Chloe, but yes, so that is Missy Her. <clears throat> her grandparents were named Hogleg, that is interesting. Sorry, my throat is, like, drying out. Uh, her skills, so she is a nurse, and she works 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., her skills are quite low as well, so we'll get her um, up with that. Uh, her personality is a very, very nice. Uh, fairly neat, a little outgoing, a little active, but more on the lazy side. And she's also actually serious. Uh, she's not too playful. Her little blurb is, Jenny loves having a career, but she wishes she could spend more time with her family and maybe make some new friends. She really likes green, clearly. <laughs> Uh, and we'll take a look at her memories quickly. Oh, she remembers that Vidkin got abducted. Oh. So, um, <clears throat> she gets potty trained by her mom, grows up well. Vidkin and Pascal join. So she's the oldest sister. Uh, kissed pollination technician. Everyone grew up well. Oopsie daisy. Her mother died. Uh, before she got married, which is kind of sad. Um, she got a job. Her father died. And then she had Johnny. And then she had Jill. And she got promoted a couple times. And then she met Cersei, met Nervous, and Vidkin got abducted by aliens, which was recently. So that is Miss Jenny Smith. So, I don't know. We might just keep her job just because it's her, it's her thing, right? We'll see. Over to Mr. Johnny Smith. He has blonde hair and green skin and green eyes like his mother. So he's very much half human, half alien, uh, very clearly. He's a popularity aspiration, and his lifetime aspiration is become to uh, become a media magnate, which I don't know if he'll actually do that. His relationships are fairly high with his family, and he's actually the boyfriend of Ophelia Nigmos, which uh, explains why his parents are so close with her. He's friends with Rip Grunt, and he knows Chloe and Lola because they're his aunties. And he is enemies with Tank, and he wants to irritate Tank and have a great party. Apparently, we're going to throw a party. Uh, he is a B student, and he actually has a very high body skill. Body skill. And he's actually growing up today, so that's going to be a thing. His personality is he's quite sloppy, but he's very outgoing and very nice and somewhat active and uh, playful, but more so serious. His little blurb is Johnny dreams of being the hero that rides on, in on a white horse, or at least a cool sports car. So he wants to be successful and everyone like him. So maybe we'll give him like the political career or something. I think he'd do well in that. If we look at his memories really quick, it's just him growing up. Uh, and going steady with Ophelia, and they actually have had their first kiss already, so we miss that. Oh, sadness. And last but not least is little Jill. She's adorable. She looks just like her mom. Uh, she wants to be friends with Buck, which that might be nice. Maybe they can, uh, you know, um, grow up together and be all friendly. What? Uh, she's fairly high relationships with her family, a high relationship with Ophelia as well. Fairly high relationship with Buck, and she knows Chloe, Chloe and Lola. Uh, just taking a look. Oh, well, actually, they're, they're half-sisters, as well as... Hmm. Sims, confusion. How are they not half-sisters, but they are? What? 
Whatever. Whatever, Sims 2. <laughs> the logic. She has a logic point. Skill, and she's an A student, which is very good. She's very, very neat, Some uh, quite playful, quite nice, but she's shy and uh, kind of active, but more on the lazy side. And her memories are nothing too, too much. Oh, and her little blurb says, when Jill closes her eyes, she sees dolphins. She has her heart set on becoming a deep sea welder someday. So uh, there is the marine biologist career or something like that. So maybe that's definitely for her. We'll give her water themed stuff. So that's the family. We'll do quickly a tour of the home. In the desert of Strange Town, they have um, grown grass for their lawn, which it's um, creeping in on the sides. But they have tons of foliage, tons of garden stuff. There's that fun golf thing oh, over there. Um, a nice backyard with a nice, nice pool and a swing. Uh, I really like it. It's very, it's like an oasis in this desert, like... Everything else is sand and barren, and their house is like this little oasis. So we look, they have a nice porch with a stereo. Over here is a lovely, like, sitting rec room with um, a chess table and a fireplace. And I really like the setup and the green carpet against the wood. Uh, a bathroom, which is nothing special, just their TV and video games for Johnny, probably. Their dining room, which uh, is um, not too, um, I don't know, it could be nicer. <laughs> it's very bare. I love these windows looking out onto the pool, though. That's very nice. Uh, and a bar. Their kitchen is quaint, nice yellow. Nothing too, too special. Uh, here's a bedroom. I don't know whose bedroom this is. I'm guessing it's... Um, PT9 and Jenny's, because it has an ensuite bathroom, and I guess this is supposed to be like a walk-in closet or something, I don't know, an empty space. And here's our front porch as well. We go upstairs, and there's tons of extra space, so there's room for another kid for sure. This is Johnny's room, it's blue, and yeah, and a desk, and he has a poster over there. What is it? What is it? It looks like something he drew. That's cute. And a phone in his room. Oh, my. And this is Jill's room. Very uh, pink, but yellow. It's cute, though. And then they have this extra carpeted room and uh, this bare room. And then the big bathroom for them to share. And then they have an out uh, upper deck porch right here, which uh, is very, very nice. So, yeah, this is their house. Let's look at the whole thing. Their house is quite nice. I really, really do like it. So let us, now that we've introduced everyone, let us hit play. Johnny's ready to become a man. He wants a birthday party to mark the occasion. So pick up the phone to invite his friends. Blow out the candles and everyone is ready. So let's come throw a birthday party then. We'll invite all the people. We're definitely inviting Ophelia, we'll invite Rip, and we'll invite our sisters. And let's see if Tank comes by, because maybe we can fight him. Oh, who's here? Oh, Mr. Humble. Well, thank you, Mr. Humble. Oh, God, and they're doing the smussel. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Look at them go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now, I want you to make... Uh, some hamburgers. Actually, oh no, it's raining. And Jill is playing video games. Oh my, where is he? Oh no. He poked. You know what? Buy off with 50 smolians. Let's do it. Don't cry. Be a man, Johnny. Be a man. Oh, it stopped raining? Did that work? All right, all right, I'll leave you alone for now. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, everyone's actually here and doing the smussel out back. Uh, Jenny Smith, well, let's just serve some food. Get this Gowans. He wants to throw... Jill has a great party. Jill is not throwing the party. What are you talking about? 
Um, cool. So, oh, she wants to have a baby. Oh my gosh. We'll try. All right, so we're gonna come on here. Come over here. Actually, let's kiss her one last time. This will be the last time we can do anything with her until she ages up. <laughs> oh, Ophelia. A real dud. Oh my, that's not good. Everyone's doing the sussle. Why is no one happy about that? Lola came, but Chloe did not, apparently. Oh, she wanted us to kiss her. Oh. Oh. Everyone's getting gelatin. That's funny. Alright, so now we're going to come over here and blow out the candles. Let's see how this happens. Yep, I know, buddy. This hairstyle on his head, though. Oh, he's looking nice. Oh, he's so excited. Wait, I want to see you. Oh, my. Look at his outfit. <laughs> oh my goodness! Johnny is ready for the life of his own. Getting a job and moving out will start him on his adult journey. My life has been going pretty well so far. Now's the time to step it up and make the future even better. So getting him a job and moving out will start him on his adult journey. So we'll definitely um, get him a job. Um, and we'll wait to move him out with Ophelia. So we're gonna just chat. Let's chat with um with Rip Grunt as well. And what I actually want is oh, and she used her vacation day. Uh, that's okay. But <laughs> um, I want them to woohoo really bad. We're gonna try for a baby because she goes up in five days. But there's time for another baby. There's time. There's extra space in the house too. We have time. Uh, we need to wait for Jill to walk out, though. <laughs> Pee and then grab a slice of cake. You could hurry. Okay, get out of their bedroom. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Alrighty. So we're going... Oh, we can't! No! Mm. That makes me sad. I don't think we can. Why not? Why not? Let's cuddle, maybe, first? Cuddle. Make out. Let's see real quick. Maybe we gotta warm them up? I don't think so. I think she's gonna age up too soon. It's <sighs> poo-poo. That's poo-poo. Um, so yeah, we're just chatting. I think he <laughs> left, so we'll just- Oh, why is he crying? We'll just chat with our girl. Uh, and tickle her. Jill! Why don't you talk to your mom real quick? Chat with your mommy. Um, uh, people are coming down here to swim. We should go swimming, actually. It's summertime. Let's enjoy the pool. Oh, and if you guys don't know, if you have The Sims 4, uh, Sims 4 came up with the free pool update uh, just this past week, so that's very exciting. I haven't had a chance to play Sims 4 with the pools yet, but I'm planning on doing a new Sims 4 uh, LP. Um, if you guys might be interested in it, I'm thinking of doing the Disney Princess Challenge in The Sims 4. Uh, let me know if that's something you'd like to watch, uh, as well as this LP and High School Dreams. Uh, it's kind of a lot, but, um, it doesn't take me too long to do three videos a week, because that's pretty much my upload schedule, but yeah. We're gonna get people to, oops, I hit four. 
<laughs> oh, aren't they cute? Maybe he can come over here and make some poured drinks for us. And then he's gonna have to go to the bathroom. Um, but we should definitely talk to, um, talk to Lola. Lola, that name just like makes me laugh. Chat with her. Um, see, we can give her a family kiss. Yeah, we're not family members. That's so funny because we have the same father, so that doesn't make any sense. She wants a classical dance. Oh, he had a great party. Yay! So, yeah, I think we're going to give him the... Um, what? Did you just see that? Did you just see that? They were flirting. They were totally flirting. She just cheated on him. As soon as he grows up, she just is like, nah, nah, that's the face of a harlot. You harlot. You. You. I'm disappointed in you. Actually, no, I expected that from you. But you. I'm disappointed in you. Oh, that's actually terrible. Come open this. We need to get our computer. Cool. And we'll put it on your desk. We should give you a more, like, adult-type bedroom. <laughs> but we're gonna come here and find a gerb. Find a gerb! In politics. Okay, it'll have to be, uh, another time. But yeah, Johnny will stay here until, um... Well, he'll, he'll stay here for probably a couple parts, and then we'll move him out. Um, and then we'll have another household to play. Oh my goodness. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll focus on Sir... He's like... Oh, is he fat? I think he is fat. He is fat. That's so funny. Um... Miss <laughs> Jill. Maybe we'll, uh, chat with Buck for a little bit. Uh, you, I want you to actually work on your charisma skill after you eat. That'll be fine. Uh, Jill, how about you come take a shower, and then we'll get her, um, get her to work on her skills for work, so she can get a promotion. I actually don't think there's a bookshelf here. There isn't. Oh, yes, there is. It's over here. I was going to say, that is really weird if there's no bookshelf, but she'll come here and study her mechanical. Too bad we can't have a baby. I'm so sorry, dear. He's sitting out here eating. Johnny, what the heck, man? Johnny Bravo! So there we go. Jill just spoke with Buck some more. She wants to buy a lemonade stand. Well, oh, How about you answer that, dear? Answer that phone. Is PT9 available to talk? He is. He's just peeing. Uh, but for marine biologist, I think she needs more logic. So I'll get her to practice her logic skill. I think her mom needs a logic point too. So how about you actually... Well, we'll quickly get her to read for a little bit. No, we're not going downtown. Uh, actually, she'll come join Jill. Just hang out for a little bit. Why don't you go swimming? Um, and PT9, yeah, you can chill. He looks so unhappy. What the heck? Um, I'm surprised there's not more memories of him. Like, his life must have been, like, so weird and interesting. Um, aliens are funsy times. So Johnny's just taking a nice dip. Um, oh, it's raining. Well, he's swimming in the rain. It's okay. Look at the steam coming off that pool because of the rain. I think this actually gives you charisma skill, this putt-putt thing. I don't remember. Let's see. It does! So that's, <laughs> that's what Johnny's going to be working on. It's raining so sporadically. Jill has gained a point of logic. Very good. That's good. But she's actually going to have to go to bed. 
So her mom's gonna go read the mechanical skill point, and Jill's gonna come take a bath and then go to bed because she has school in the morning. Johnny, I think we'll stay up for a little bit longer and continue practicing. And PT9 is actually heading to bed as well because he's old. Uh, Jill will be aging up in four days now, so I want her to um, get promotion, make some more money before we, she becomes retired. Um, cool. You can come inside now, friend. Um, and clean this up. Clean it up, clean it up! So I think I will actually uh, skip until morning time, so I'll see you guys then. Actually, this part has gone kind of long, so I'm going to end this here. If you like this part, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more videos as I put them out fairly regularly. Uh, the next time we will be in another household introducing them to our Strange Town LP. Uh, there are three more households to go through. Uh, and so, yeah, it should be very interesting. I will see you guys next time.